I still can't do it. I can't whistle. I'm a flutist. I just should be able to do this, right? Have you ever wondered what a flutist carries inside their case? Admittedly, I have never wondered what's in a flute case. But if you're interested in finding out what's in a flutist case, then stick around because we're going to go through what's in my case. Hi y'all, my name is Norman Manzales, and I'm a professional flutist living in Montana. I grew up in the South, but as many musicians find themselves when they're taking auditions, they go where the job is, and I just so happen to land here in the Wild Wild West. So, let's get started. This is my flute case. I really love it. It's made out of leather, and it's nice and small, as you can see. It's all black and it's kind of like a mini coffin for my flute because the flute is made up of three parts. You have the head joint, the body, and the foot joint. So if you put that all together, it's like a person laying in there. I don't know, maybe some a little bit of self-loathing in there as well. So when you're buying a flute, especially as a professional flutist, it can be extremely challenging because there's so many different combinations of materials that flutes can be made out of, like silver or gold or wood, and you can combine all those materials to get your perfect sound. Who knows, maybe I might end up getting another flute that's made out of platinum and has diamonds all over it. My head joint is really special to me. It's a 14 karat gold, custom-made head joint by Dana Sheridan, who happens to live in Germany and recently retired, thus making my head joint even more valuable. I bought it from the principal flutist of the American Ballet Theater in New York City, and long story short, she was basically like, Norman, you need to get this. This sounds awesome on you. And I was like, you know what? You're right. I also paid a lot of money for this head joint, so I better love it. The body and the foot of my flute are from an American flute maker, very popular, Powell Flutes. And it's a combination of gold and silver, which they call Aramite. And when I added this part to the head joint, I was like, yes, the end, bomb. Love it, great. Y'all, I... I don't think I ever show this to anyone. Why? Because it's my nasty, yucky, gross, smelly cleaning cloth that I basically swab out of my flute every single time that I play it because I'm what? Gross. I put this cloth inside the cleaning rod and you can see there's a little bit of a hole in there you just slide it in. Oop, well, not like that. Usually I do a better job and I can do it much faster. And then you wrap it around and then you've got yourself a little cleaning tool and then you just put it in and turn it around and swab it out. So this is cigarette paper and you're probably wondering, Norman, why do you have cigarette paper? Well, no, it's not because I smoke cigarettes. It's because I use the thin paper, which I'm actually running out of. I only have two more sheets left to clean out any spit bubbles that may happen when I'm playing. You know, there's a lot of water um, through the warm air that I'm blowing into the instrument and sometimes it gets stuck in between the keys. So it can be really embarrassing when you're playing a classical piece and all of a sudden it starts sounding super jazzy because there's all these little spit bubbles that are causing all these pitch bends to happen. So you put a little cigarette paper in, get rid of all that nasty moisture, and then you're good to go. Earplugs. I feel like every musician should have them, but I'm a bad musician because I don't actually use them all the time because I'm very irresponsible and just seem to forget about these and even forget that they're in my case. But other than that, I think that they're really great and these are very cheap because I 
am a cheap person and don't want to buy the really expensive earplugs. So if you have the money, go for it. Yeah, they feel pretty good. They kind of clash with this outfit though. And finally, this is what makes Flutus stereotypically high maintenance. It's the darn polishing gloss. And I definitely don't leave home without it. It is one of the things that I use aside from my cleaning cloth all the time. I always polish my flute. So in that respect, I guess I'm a stereotypical, crazy, high maintenance flute player. But hopefully you still love me. Well, that's pretty much it that's in my case. So if you enjoyed this video, I don't know what the matter is with you. And if you hated this video, then my name's Dr. Paul Chinon and I play the oboe. Thanks so much for watching. If there's another video idea that you would like to see from me and the rest of the quintet, let us know down below. I hope to see you at an upcoming concert and have a great day.